Nisi Love Harmon here of What She Creating Enterprises. And today I am back with the Singer 5825C sewing machine. In the last few tutorials, I showed you the machine basics as well as how to thread the top thread and the bobbin threads. And I'm going to show you everything you would need to get started with this particular machine. So I have my scrap fabric here because I'll be doing some stitching. All right, let's look at our presetting before we start sewing we want to make sure that the thread the thread tension is between two and five i usually keep mine on four as a steady space i'm going to do a straight stitch but if you want to do a zigzag stitch then choose the width that you desire uh, make sure that your needle position for the straight stitch is in the middle however if you want to move it to the right or to the left then you choose your position and then i need to make sure that my pattern selection is on the straight stitch okay i want to make sure that my stitch length is on three and a half to four because that is what i usually use for my straight stitch i'll cut my machine on and i have my scrap fabric here with a pretty piece of purple with a little bit of sheen let's zoom in a little bit so let's start sewing i have my fabric here and i'm going to place it where hopefully you can see that there are lines here there's a three eighths four eighths five eighths six eighths line i'm going to go on the thicker line here which is one two away from the left side i'm going to follow that line because that is my guide and that's that's how my stitch will be straight as you can see i took the presser foot lever here and i put the presser foot down you do that before you start sewing each stitch. Now, the next thing I will do is push my reverse button. My reverse button is here. So I will be pushing that, the needle will go backwards twice. Um, and don't forget to use your hand wheel. So here's my hand wheel here. I'm going to, sometimes I put the needle in the fabric manually by turning the hand wheel towards me or to me. So I'm going this way. I'm going to push the reverse button and go backwards two stitches one two one two and then go forward and that reinforces the stitch so that it doesn't come out i'm looking at the line and i'm following this line so that my stitch will be somewhat straight right all right so once i do that and i get to the end here i'm going to go push my reverse button in and go backwards twice one two and then go forward to complete the stitch when i get to the end i'm putting the presser foot up turning the needle or turning the hand wheel towards me so that the needle is in its highest position then i pull the material out um and to pull it to the left and then I can use my thread cutter which is right on the back here or use some scissors either way it works so let's check out the stitch here oh yes it is a beautiful one so the reason that I check out the stitch on the front and the back is to make uh -oh, not that one the reason that I check the stitch on the front and the back is to make sure that it is even and equal and it does look like the stitches are about the same. There's no looping on either side. So I know that the machine is working at its best. I hope this answered all of your beginner and getting started questions on the Singer 5825C sewing machine. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Let us know how we're doing. Subscribe to our page, like our videos, leave us some video comments or some vi future video ideas. And thanks for watching and happy sewing.